Yes. Well, come in, Mr. Knight. I'm afraid I can only spare a few moments. I appreciate that. You know, a friend of mine, Grace, uh, she drove into town yesterday with a couple of guys. Uh, friends of Prince James of Albany. Real nice guys. Scottish, I think. <coughs> Mallory and McDougal, I believe their names were. Are you going somewhere with this, Mr. Knight? I was wondering if you knew him. No, I'm afraid not. Perhaps it's unclear who I'm talking about. You must know them, because after they dropped off Grace last night, they came here. I saw you let them in. Two men. Two men. Last night. Yes, a car did stop here last night. They asked directions. They were only here for a few minutes. Is there a problem? Not for you, I suppose. Do you have any idea where Mallory and McDougal are now? No. I gave them directions and they took off again. Have, um... Have you seen them? Yep. Oh, where? They're dead. Their bodies were found at the Devil's Armchair, just down the road. My God. You seem surprised. Of course I'm surprised. About those two men who stopped here last night? Yes? This may sound strange, but I was taking a walk by the parking area next door, and I thought I saw you all exchange an awfully complicated handshake for two guys who stopped for directions, that is. How dare you spy on me! I want you to leave! Now! Are you a Freemason, Mr. Chester? Now! Or must I call the police? I think you know those men and Prince James. And I think you know the real reason those men were here. I'm trying to help Prince James myself, even if that means pissing people off. Mr. Knight, I haven't the slightest idea who you are or what you're talking about. Right. Uh-huh. Well, thanks for your time. I wonder what time he set on that clock. Yeah, I could stick my finger in there if I wasn't picky about scarred tissue. Now, if I can just press the alarm button. 2 a.m. Got it.
Oh, Mr. Buzz, I'm so sorry. What a klutz I am. It is quite all right. I was not paying attention. I... Oh, no, it, it's my fault entirely. I was worrying about something else and not watching at all. And Lady Howard, is she recovering? Yes, she's resting quietly. Thank you. I am very glad to hear that. Good day, Miss Styles. Good day, Mr. Bowser. Stuart's residence. Mesme, this is Gabriel Knight. Hold on, please. It's him. Mr. Knight? Hello, Prince James. I I'm afraid I have some pretty bad news. Uh, sir, your men were found dead this morning. I see. Yes. It's horrifying news. <laughs> I can tell you everything I know about it. Please, do. Well, they left here last night about... Drained into the ground. We found two pools. It... Well, hell, it looked ritualistic to me. Lord. I just don't understand. Nor do I. But the killing still revolved around blood. I think... Mesme and I were just discussing this. You see, I have certain affairs which you know nothing about, and I'm not inclined to involve an outsider. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that picture. But if I'm to... That's why I sent my own men down there. Now this. Frankly, I, I, I don't know what to do. Son's life, my... My son's life means everything to me. I know. And Mesme thinks you'll be able to do some good. So I'll... Ask you to keep your eyes open, at, at least until further notice. But that does not mean intruding on. Please, just try to stay focused on finding the child. Uh, sir, I'd be a lot more successful if you told me everything. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. You'll hear from us soon. Say, hey, John, do you guys do wake-up calls? Maybe you could have Simone buzz the room for me about 2 a.m.? Certainement. You won't let me down now, will ya? Oh, most assuredly, monsieur. I forget nothing. <laughs> 